through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. people that we're the, the actual people of this Bible, right? Right? Yeah, we're the people of this Bible. You heard what Kyrie's pushing, Kanye's pushing? That's the same shit we come out here and teach every week. Every week we're teaching our, our people that they're the lost tribes, that they're the, the Jews that the Bible talks about, right? They call themselves Jew. You know about the people in Israel that wear the little small hats? You know about them? What do they call themselves? They call themselves Jewish, right? Why don't they call themselves Israelites? You ever ask yourself that? Right? They don't, bro. They call themselves Jewish, right? The word I-S-H just means pertaining to, right? If I say, man, look, man, you acting childish, right? You're acting like a child, man. They are acting like a Jew. You see what I'm saying? The real Jews look like you, bro. That's right. The real Jews look like you, bro. That's why we don't know who we are according to this Bible. Hey, you got to stay focused, King. <laughs> you got to stay focused, King. Come on, man. We, we, yeah, 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 hey. Yeah, hey. Right, right, hey. Bring this precept out, King. Bring out, uh, give me uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Bring out uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. You were saved? What's it mean to be saved, bro? Christ, Christ, our King Christ, Yahushua Hamashiach, he said he had endured to the end is saved, right? That's kind of like a Christian, Christian dogma, a Christian theory, right? Like, what are you really saved from, right? You're not really saved, bro, until until the end. From him. To the, from <laughs> from yeah, him. From, from him, not me. Right, right, right. <laughs> hey, to 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 be saved, you gotta endure to the end, King, and to stay away from to stay away from him, you gotta keep these commandments, King. See what I'm saying? All people, we're special people, man. You got to keep these commandments. You got all these women walking around, man. They, they all out of order, man. This whole society is out of order. Our brothers can't even stay focused, man, because of what these women's walking around on. Walk around with. I'm focused. It's just me being new down here. Right. Where you from? I'm from Miami. Right. So it's like me being like seeing new shit. Right. It's like I have to get adjusted to it to, in order to stay focused. Crazy. Hey, y'all sisters got a minute for the Bible? One minute, sis. A minute word, sis. Hey, let me read you something right quick, sis. Come here. See, our people ain't even got time for us, man. The prophets is coming out here, man. Our, our sisters don't even got time for us, right? We out here teaching our people who they are, man, according to this Bible, these commandments. But our sisters just walking by, man. They don't want to hearken to the word, man. Bring that precept out there. Timothy 3, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. You see that? The Bible said our women supposed to walk around with modest apparel, man. What is a modest apparel? Hey sis, hey sis, I see you interested. Come learn, come learn about the Bible, sis. Hey, let, let me let, let's teach you something, sis. Hey, bro, come back. Come on, bro. Wait, bro. Basically, be humble, right? Basically, be humble. The Bible says a woman's supposed to be humble. A woman's supposed to be shamefaced. Shamefaced, shamefaced, shamefaced is saying a woman's supposed to be in order, bro. She's not supposed to be in everybody's face, just running her mouth. You know what I mean? She's supposed to be peaceful. She's supposed to be calm, respectful. That's the, crazy. That's crazy. We're not gonna get that. And, that, and that's what we're out here trying to do. We're trying to teach our people, man. The brother just said that women are supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel, man. In the Bible, all women were covered up, man. Read about Susanna, man. You know what I mean? Read about Sarah. 
These are women that knew these are women that knew how to handle herself according to this Bible, right? But our women want to walk around with damn all kind of damn madness on. Leggings, damn booty shorts. Man, that shit don't make no sense, man. How you supposed to get a righteous husband you walk around showing all your damn goodies, man? Up in the doctor's office showing your ass and you can lay have a damn baby. That don't make no damn sense, man. That's why you gotta come back to these commandments, man, and learn according to this Bible, man. You gotta put your faith in Christ, man. You gotta follow the commandments of God, man, Yahweh. Or if not, man, get ready, man. Get ready for doom, destruction. Whoa, it's coming to this place, man. You got something? Yeah, I was gonna say that brother talking about new. Well, I know that brother. Right. He talking about all new here. Right, 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 right. He from Miami. You know you done seen shit like this, man. The brother just out here, damn, all kind of wickedness right now, man. He he he, he listened for a second. He got the hell up out of here, man. But we out here for our people, man. You see how people walk around in this lower mind state, man. Our people, they're special people, man. They got to come back to this word, according to this Bible. You got that precept, King? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You see that? The Bible says a woman cannot be walking around with clothes that a man will wear. You got women all out here wearing pants, man. You go go back to YouTube and watch a video from the 30s. You don't see no damn women out here wearing pants, man. When the hell did that become cool? Showing all your body off, showing your curves off, man. That's madness, man. These women out here looking like men, man. These men out here looking like women, man. Sometimes I can't even tell. I'm, I'm looking at people, I'm like, yo, what is that? Is that a man? Is that a woman? What is that? Especially these damn so-called white people, man. They just look effeminate, man. They look like damn girls. Right? Got no masculinity to it whatsoever, man. Wicked as hell, man. You got a precept, can you hold something? <laughs> come, come. It's crazy, man. Glenwood Avenue, man. Wicked as hell, man. All women supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel. They're supposed to dress according to the Bible, man. The Bible says Susanna was covered up all the way to the head to the foot. But you see what it is out here, man. And it ain't even them, it ain't even them the, 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 the crazy time of the hour. Wait till later on, it's gonna be all kind of wickedness and folly out here. Madness out here. All women, all women are lost, man. That's why they gotta come back to this word. They're lost. Now you see the men of the world out here trying to teach you, man. Craziness out here. You got a precept king or anything? All right. So look, man, we out here trying to teach our people brotherly love, man. Our brothers is uh, they, they they just turn they got the harsh eye for each other, man. Back in the day, we used to have love for each other, man. Where did that love go to? Yeah, you got your thumbs up, man. We ain't, we ain't worried about you, man. Yeah, right, right. You don't scoffer, man. Right. Walk around dressed like the white man, man. You look like a damn weirdo, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Right, right, right. What in the hell, man? Our people's are fascinated with Donald Trump, man. And Joe Biden, man. Like, that's gonna do anything for our people. What the hell is Joe Biden gonna do for us? What the hell is Donald Trump gonna do for us, man? Not a damn thing. Donald Trump ain't this shit for us, man. It's crazy as hell. We walk around we walk around here looking arms like a damn tangerine, man. Trying to look like us. It's crazy as hell, man. Donald Trump, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Soldiers of your highway in the building, man. Shalom, kings. Mighty shalom to y'all brothers, man. Shalom to all the brothers hitting the highways and byways, man. Out here doing the work, man, these last days, man. The brothers putting this work in, man. Teaching Raleigh, man. Raleigh. All the Israelites walking in Raleigh, man. Giving them this word, man. It's crazy out here, man. Crazy, crazy. Hey, Shalom. Hey, hey, let me get the book. Let me get first John 3 and 15, man. Soldiers of Yahweh in the building, man. Shalom, kid. Shalom, man. Shalom. Hey, we bringing it out, man. We bringing it out. We ain't got much time, man. We, somebody's got to teach him, man. Shalom, King. How are you? Hey, we got to teach them, man. 
We gotta come up after these other nations, man. I'm tired of having these other nations fit on my neck. I'm tired of working for the so-called white man, man. These weak ass cave beasts, man. Why don't y'all go back in your damn caves, man, where y'all came from, man? Don't you know you stay walking on stolen land? Don't you know you stole this land from my ancestors, man? The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's all we were out here for. We ain't out here for nobody else, man. We ain't out here for you other nations, man. We out here for our people, all right? We out here teaching brotherly love, man, according to this Bible, man. When did our heart get so hard for our brothers, man? Shalom, King, how are you? How are you doing? Shalom. Hey, man, our hearts done got hard for our brothers, man. A brother step on your shoes, man, you ready to fight, man. Where I'm from, man, you used to ride around and stare out the window, man, and if a brother looked at us wrong, it was go mode, man. What in the hell is wrong with us, man? We want to hurt each other all the time, right? That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't right, man. That ain't according to this Bible, man. At one time, man, we were courteous to one another, man. We had heart for one another, man. We would look out for each other, salute each other, man. Real brotherly love. Now what we want to do, man, we want to ice cream each other. We want to be evil to one another. Huh? Have sex with another brother's wife. What the hell is wrong with us, man? It's madness, man. It's folly out here, man. That's why the, 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 the men of the Lord got to come out here and teach our brothers, man. Our brothers and sisters, man. Because if it weren't for that, man, and the Lord putting that spirit on us, our brothers would be lost out here, man. You got mighty Israelites rising up, man. You got a generation of Israelites rising up in these last days, man. We out here teaching our brothers, man. On Raleigh, man. Greenwood Avenue. We out here bringing it out, man. You got that first John 3 and 15, King? Hey, hey, give me that Deuteronomy. Hey, give me that Deuteronomy 28, 54, man. Hey, bring that out. The book of first John, chapter 3, verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. You see that? You ain't supposed to have hate for your brother out here, man. You ain't supposed to have hate for your brother. The Bible says if you have hate for your brother, you're a murderer, man. Get that contention out your damn heart when you're dealing with your brother. And everybody in this world ain't your brother, man. Your brother is the people from you from your same nation. That's who your brother is. That's who your family is. You see that? You see your house camp up here? We're brothers, man. We look after one another. I die for one of my brothers. I have to. And if I had to take somebody's life from my brothers, I'd do it. Because that's what this is, man. We ain't playing out here, man. We ain't trying to hurt nobody, but you ain't gonna come up here and hurt us. That's for damn sure, man. We out here trying to be peaceful brothers. But we ain't no weak ass damn Christians either, man. We out here teaching this word, man. You got that, King? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. No. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. You see that? At one time, we was tender hearted amongst one, one another, man. We had love for one another, man. We actually cared about one another at one time, man. We failed, man, according to these curses, man, according to these commandments, right? Our ancestors, they didn't, they didn't hold strong, man, to these commandments. And now you see where we're at, man. Walking around Glenwood Avenue, lost as hell, man. It's just crazy, man. Sometimes I look around, I don't know what to think, man. It's just so full of folly, man, and wickedness. How, how, how much worse can this shit get, get out here? How, how, how worse can it get? How much more worse can it get out here? Right? right? We already been at the bottom of the barrel, man. We got to rise up in these last days, man, and stop playing, man. Seriously, man. Start taking this shit serious, man. You got brothers out here, man, trying to hold it down. You got you got men out here studying, reading. Hey, hey, what's up, King? Hey, 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 let's teach you something about the Bible right quick, man. Hey, y'all know y'all Israelites? Hey, we ain't Gentiles, man. We Israelites, man. We out here teaching our people the, the, the true words of the Bible, man. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of, man. Day in, day out, meditating on this word. You got a preset, King? Come. Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. Let me get Genesis 18 and 12, man. I'm going to show you who you really are according to this Bible, man. 
how mighty Israelites really are, man. In ancient days, we were some mighty people, man. We held it down, man. Our forefathers held it down, man. But we was weak, man. And we fell. We fell according to these commandments, man. The Lord chose us, man. But we got to go off on idolatry. We got to go off on wickedness, right? We want to praise other gods, man. We want to damn have abortions, man. We want to walk around like homosexuals, man. What in the hell is wrong with us, man? It's just crazy. You got that, King? It's the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 12. Therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also. Keep going. Nah, nah, that's what I wanted right there. You see that? Sarah, she knew how to talk to a man and treat her man. The Bible says Sarah called Abraham Lord, man. We just did a lesson on that, the family structure, man. How the family structure is supposed to be. How the Israelite family structure is supposed to be. Our women supposed to look up to us, man. Our women supposed to treat us like kings, man. You know, she called Abraham Lord, man. Right? Now, 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 you, you, you got to fuss and fight with your woman all the damn time, right? You got to damn try to keep her in order, man. You see how that shit goes, man? That don't make no damn sense, man. In ancient times, our women called us Lord. They looked up to us, man. They have respect for us, right? But now, man, the so-called black, Latino, and Native American women, they don't know how to treat their husbands, man. They don't They don't know. They, right, right, right. They wilding out, man. Crazy, man. Hey, sister, where you from, sis? Where you from? Hey, what's your nationality, sis? What's your father? Mixed? What's his father? White? Right, right, right. We keep it moving, man. This ain't for him. Right. Right. Madness out here, man. Our people don't know who, who they are, man. She's like, oh, I'm mixed. My father's white. Yeah, that, this, this ain't for them, man. We ain't out here for the so-called white man. We out for, for our people, man. You got that precept, King? The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. You see that? You see that? In ancient times, we were calling ourselves gods, man. Right? That's what the Bible called us, man, gods. We was, we, was, we was actually walking around as gods on this earth, man. And not the Most High God, but we was walking around in high posi positions, man, high place, man. Now look at us, man. We walk around with our damn pants around our ass, man. Walk around smoking big blunts. When the hell did that come into fashion, man? When did that become cool, right? These other nations looking at us, scoffing, their nose in the air, man. We was gods on this earth at one time, man. During the time of King David, King Solomon, we was walking around as gods, man. Righteous people, man. We couldn't keep these commandments, man. Now you see where the Lord got us at, right? We was in high places at one time, man. We taught these heathens, man. We taught these heathens how to bathe, man. We ruled Europe, right? We ruled, ruled all different parts of the earth. America. The, the, the earth is our damn uh, footstool. We walked around the earth running stuff. But now look, we're at the bottom of the barrel, man. And it seems like we're happy about it. We're not keeping these commandments. We walk around on the Sabbath trying to buy and sell, walking in all kind of bars. What the hell is wrong with us, man? You got a precept, King? Come, come. Nah, give me uh, Ephesians 5 and 22, man. Teach these women, man, some order, man. Hey, let me get Isaiah. Let me get Isaiah 5 and 20. It's all thrown off, man. We're out here, we, we, we don't, we, the society we live in today, it's got us all mixed up, man. We're focusing on pop culture too much, right? We, we, we're letting the TV raise our kids, right? We're letting YouTube raise our kids, man. And this is why we don't know the difference between right and wrong, man. We're not going back to this Bible like we're supposed to. We're not meditating on this word, right? We don't, we don't, we don't know what's going on out here. We are lost in the sauce. Hey, sis, you got a minute for the Bible, sis? 
You see that? Our people don't, that's, our people ain't hearkening to this word. The Lord ain't putting the spirit on them, man. They ain't hearkening to this word. They just walk past shaking their head. Greenwood Avenue with a bunch of folly, man. You got that preset, King? Bring that out. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. See that? The Bible says, wives, submit to your husbands, man. The man is the, the, man is the king in the household, man. The man is the one that rules the house, man. Damn, wicked-ass Edomites walking around throwing up the devil symbol, man. I'm so tired of this damn place, man. It don't make no damn sense, man. We're out here trying to teach our people, man. They, won't, they don't want to stop and hearken to the word, man. See that? We're out here trying to teach our people some order, man. According to this Bible. Right. The other nations walking around, man. That's all Glenwood is, man. A bunch of folly, man. You got that precept, King? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You see that? That's what society teaches this day, right? Oh, I don't need to have no husband, right? I can lay down with four or five men, right? I don't I don't need to get married, right? I can just I can just go around doing good having sex with everybody, right? That's what society teaches us. And then they say, oh, that's good. That's not evil, right? That's wicked according to this Bible, man. Women can't be having multiple partners, man. You're supposed to have one husband, man. You're supposed to have one. Oh, hold that, King. I got you. You're supposed to, you're supposed to have one husband, man. The Bible says wives need to submit to their husband, man. Right? And you want to walk around, uh, uh, I'm going to party all night, and, and just I'm just having some fun. I'm out here having a good time. This ain't no damn good time, man. Laying down with all these people, man. Right? You want to sell your body, man. You want to have like more, more than one husband. Multiple husbands, man. What the hell is wrong with our women, man? We just said Sarah called Abraham Lord, man. You think she was doing that shit back in ancient times? La like, ah, man. She wasn't handling herself like that. All people's lost, man. That's why brothers like us gotta come out here and teach this word, man. We, we got to teach our people this word, man. If not, man, they're going to be lost in the sauce, man. Want to come out here with a bunch of folly, man. Hey, Hermano. Hermano, let us teach you something right quick. Hey, Israelitos, man. Who do you use? One minute. I got to go, guys. Come on, man. Hey, it ain't going nowhere, man. Come and hang out with your brothers, man. Hey, brother, can we teach you something according to the Bible, King? Come on, man. Come come learn something, King. We out here wanting to teach our people, man. We out here for the so-called blacks, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans, man. Come get a card, King. Check our YouTube out, man. Gracias, hermano. All right. You, better, you heard something, Ethan? Bring that out, King. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 5. For this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. You see that? The Bible is clear in what it says, man. You got to follow these commandments, man, if, you think, if you're going to seek the kingdom, man. You can't just be walking around in a bunch of folly, man. If I hear somebody else tell me that the laws are done away with, man, I'm going to damn start pulling my damn hair out, man. What are we repenting from if the laws are done away with, right? Well, how are we supposed to repent according to the New Testament if the laws are done away with, right? Our people don't know what the hell is going on, man. Bunch of madness out here, man. Christ said if you love me, you'll follow the commandments, man. Yet the laws done away with, so I guess we can go around and do all kind of madness, right? We can praise false gods, right, if the laws are done away with. The damn laws ain't done away with, man. How are you supposed to have judgment, man? How are we all supposed to be judged, man, if the laws is done away with, right? How do we know the difference between good and evil if the laws is done away with, right? That doctrine right there has got our people lost in the predicament we are right now, right? People that are teaching that doctrine, 
They failed us, man. The Christian churches failed us, man. I was raised up Baptist. And and, they, and that's the same thing they told us. Oh, you can eat whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. The laws ain't done away with, man. The law system in this country is based on the biblical laws, man. But yet the laws are done away with. You know how many laws you got in this country? There's thousands of laws in this country that you got to follow. They put 600 and some laws in this Bible. But yet we say they are done away with. That's how you know that this is madness, man. When you say the law is done away, done away with, it's basically like giving people a license to sin, right? It's crazy as hell, man. How are we supposed to know the difference between right and wrong? How are we supposed to keep ourselves on a on 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 right path if the law is done away with, right? It's madness, man. The church teaching us this foolishness, man. You got to preach that, kid? Hey, let me get 1 Corinthians 11 and 8, man. I ain't going to be much more longer, man. I'm going to close it down and pass it to the next mighty speaker. But I just wanted to get out here and, and let our people know, man. Come back to these commandments, man. Learn your heritage according to the Bible, man. Get off of damn TikTok and Twitter, man. All right, women, man. They, 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 they're, they're, queens, they're queens, man. They're princesses, man. But you can't be no queen and no princess, man. And no daughters of Zion walking around them. Bug that out your damn mind, man. It ain't gonna happen, man. You gotta damn humble yourself, man. Put some modest apparel on, man. Right? Be shamefaced out here in these last days, man. Submit to your husband, man. Bring that out, King. This the book of First Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse eight. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. See that? How many women got that masculine spirit on them, man? Walk around all tough these days, man. That shit bugs me out, man. I can't stand seeing women get up in men's face, man, riling all up, right? The Bible says a woman is from a man. It ain't the other way around, man. You got to know your place out here in society, right? You ain't supposed to be bugged out in everybody's face, man, laying down with all these partners, man. You're supposed to be shamefaced in these last days. Yet you want to walk around like you didn't know everything, right? You got a college degree. Hey, sis, hey, sis, you, you, you got a minute for the Bible, sis? Can we teach you something about the Bible, sis? One second, sis. You see that? Our people don't want to hearken to this word, man. We come out here week in, week out to teach our people this word, man. And they don't have the time for the saints, man. They don't have the time for the prophets, man. You got something? You heard something, kid? Hey, let me get, I'm going to close it down, man. Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Let me get 2 Peter, man, 3 and 10. You see these powerful ass Edomites walking around, man. That's all, that's all that's out here, man. Esau, man. 2 Peter 3 and 10. Esau walk around here, man, looking down on our people, man. I'm so tired of this shit, man. Yeah, 49 and 11. Hey, sis, where you from, sis? Where you from? What, what, what's your nationality? I'm Zambian. What is that? Where's that at? Africa. Africa. Is that West Africa? Southern Africa. South Africa? Southern, Southern Africa. Africa. How'd you get over here? A plane. A plane. <laughs> right, 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 right. She said a plane. Esau, man, get ready, man. Your kingdom's coming to an end. Don't y'all know y'all walking on stolen land? Don't you know this land belongs to the 12 tribes of Israel? Esau out here looking confused and dumb, man. You Edomites think that this, this place ain't gonna end, man. You ain't seeing what's happening in the news. You don't see the damn armies of the world uh, ganging up on America, getting ready to take this place down. This place is getting ready to get destroyed with missiles, man. Russia's got their finger on the button. Any minute, man, this place could be nipped out his damn mind, man. Y'all better come here to win, man. We are here for our people, man. We are here for the last sheep, man. The scattered across the earth. The Israelites, according to the Bible, man. I ain't gonna be much longer, man. I'm gonna bring these precepts out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it to the next mighty speaker, man. But we are here teaching our people, man, to repent, man. Cause this, this wicked ass kingdom, this shit is almost over with, man. It can't get no worse. It can't get, I hardly get no worse than it is right now. If it gets any worse, man, we ain't gonna know what to damn do, man. The most high is gonna have to shorten this shit according to the for the elect. What's up, King? Hey, we talked to you last week, man. Hey, come down here and holler at us, man. 
You at work? Right, right, right. Hey, you know who you are according to the Bible? Right, you know you're is where are you from? You so called black man? Up up there? Alright. Alright. Yeah, we out here teaching the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans that they're Israelites according to the Bible, alright? We ain't Moors. We're not Moors. We're not damn we're, we're not the Moorish kingdom. We're not damn five percenters, Muslims. We're the Israelites, man. And this kingdom's getting ready, this kingdom's getting ready to fall. Hey brother, you got a minute to hear the word? Nah? You don't wanna hearken to the word? See what I'm saying, man? What country in Africa are you from? Ghana. Ghana. That might be an Israelite right there, man. You know? You had to test the spirit, man. See if the spirit matches up, man. You started walking around here prideful as hell, man. Hey brother, you got a minute for the word, brother? Hey, you supposed to be with us, man, not them, man. Come on, that's your enemy, man. Didn't they put you in slavery? What you gonna come on, man? What can you get behind then? You love everybody? Hey, don't you know, don't you know when I rode up here, man, I had to ride past Confederate flags, man? Don't you know the Ku Klux Klan's all around Raleigh? So what are you talking about? You can't get down with that, right? Every time I ride up here to Raleigh, I gotta ride past a Confederate flag, man. Don't you know what they did to my people during uh, 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 Antebellum and all that? They chased my people in the swamps, man. We had to go hide in swamps. And the brother behind me said, I can't get with all that, right? My people had to go live in swamps, man. We got chased in Robinson County, right? The whole North Carolina was ours, man. The so-called Tuscarora, the so-called Lumbee, the Saponis, the Catalaba, right? And this brother got a nerve to say, oh man, I can't get down with that, man. That's our problem, man. We love our enemy, man. That's right. We gotta bond on our own people, man. And love our damn enemy, man. Making songs where we wanna kill one another, man. What the hell's wrong with us, man? We're damn confused, man. We've been brainwashed, man. We've lived under these Edomites so long, man. We think that they give a damn about us, man. They don't give a damn about nothing, man. They're a godless people, man. Before they converted over to so-called Christianity, these so-called white people had thousands of gods, man. They praised every day, man. Study the Greeks, study the Romans, right? And we're gonna we're gonna buddy buddy and be partner up with them, man. I ain't got time for that, man. I'm done holding hands with these damn devils, man. You better wake up in these last days, man. Right? We out here telling our people to get away from their enemy, man. Damn race warrior, race cop walking around, man. They come through here and flash the lights on us, man. You don't see them doing that to nobody else, man. Nope. You got a bunch of brothers out here teaching the Bible, man. And they want to come through here and harass us. What in the hell's going on with that, man? Right? Why well, I'm going to hold a hand with my damn enemy, man. They damn stole my land, raped my women, right? Chased me on damn reservations. Put our people on reservations. Right. And we supposed to forget about all that? Right. Ask them if they forget about 9-11. Hell no, they ain't forgetting about 9-11. But they want to they want to tell us the so-called Native American, oh, don't worry, man. That happened a, a, a couple hundred years ago, man. Forget about that, right? Forget about getting hung from trees. Forget about get, uh, having being raped, right? Losing our nationality, losing our, 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 our language, right? Losing our customs, right? They want us to walk around and put a damn suit on, right? They know where they come from, right? We're the only people on the earth, man, that call ourselves a name that ain't ours. Right? Sis, come here the word, sis. You see that? I'm done with that, man. Our people's lost, man. This is madness, man. We're the only people taught to love everybody. We're the only people taught to love everybody. You know? You got the Ku Klux Klan all around there in North Carolina, but yet you want to hold hands with the so-called white man. And he'll string your ass up as quick as he can. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? You're supposed to love your damn brother, man. Esau's wicked ass kingdom, man. This is why this place gotta be burned the hell up. Because our people don't know no more. They're lost, man. Hosea 4 and 6, man. Our people are lost, man. We don't have the knowledge no more. Bring that piece up, I think. God, it's the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. 
in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. See that the Lord's gonna destroy this place, man. He destroyed it all already one time with water. Now he's gonna destroy this place with fire, man. But you wanna ride around in your cars looking dumb as hell, right? You wanna get on an app and social media looking stupid as hell, man. You ain't got no time for the Bible. You ain't got no time to learn your nation, your nationality and your heritage, right? But you gotta hold hands with the right man. Or oh, I can't get behind that, brother. What can you get behind then, right? Talk to love everybody, man. It's some wickedness, man. Madness out here. You got that precept too? Chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. See that? They call the, name, the land their own names. Washington, right? Raleigh, Fayetteville. These are all named after the so called white man, man. Right? And, he, and we just wrote, man, this place is getting destroyed, man. Yet they want to walk around in their, little, in their little kingdom like this place ain't going to uh, get destroyed. This place ain't going to last forever, man. Get ready, man. Y'all's going in damn slavery, man. Just like y'all put our people in slavery, get ready for them chains, man. Get ready. Because we ain't playing with y'all out here, man. Hey, let me get Mark 1 and 15, man. And I'm going to shut it down, man. Get ready for slavery, Esau. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word, bro? Brother, you got a minute for the word, King? Hey, you got a minute, King, for the word, for the Bible? All people, man, they don't want to hear nothing. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, come, hey, come check us out, man. Hey, get him a card, man. Get a brother a card, man. Hey, we out here teaching our people, man, to come back to this Bible, man. Who they are according to this Bible, man. We out here teaching our people that they're Israelites, man. God's chosen people, man. Right? We ain't Native Americans. We're not so-called black. We're not so-called Latinos. We are the Israelites, man. And we gotta come to that come to that understanding, that truth in these final days, man. Bring that precept out, King. The book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. You see that? I'm going to uh, close it up. I just want to say, I want to say respect to the elders, double honors to the elders. And I want to marry. Come on, Yashiyama. Come on, Yashiyama. Come on.